exploring the backcountry and national parks that surround Moab. We are live at the Hilton Hoodoo here in Moab. And joining me now in the sponsored interview is Brian Martinez from Navtech, telling you how to make the best of your outdoor experience here. And I got to experience a little bit of this. Yesterday, I got to go on a tour a little ways up Long Canyon with one of your incredible guides, Blaine. And we'll get into that, but I want you to tell us why it's a great time to come and adventure outdoors in the winter. It really is. Oh, it's just, it's so nice to be able to get that winter solitude um, out here on the tour. Um, you know, you have the fiery red rocks and the white snow on top of it, and you just don't have the crowds of people. So it's just so, it's, a, uh, it's just great to be able to, to get to explore the country uh, in a different way out here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what I really learned just yesterday too. I mean, we associate this with being a summer destination so mm -hmm. much, but we're letting you in on the secret, which is to come at this time of year. And tell us about Navtech, because you can take us on whatever kind of adventure we can dream up. Yeah, 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 so we're the concessionaires of Canyonlands and Arches National Park. We do backcountry 4x4 tours and whitewater trips during the summer um, down through the park. But uh, uh, yeah, give our office a call and we can set you up and uh, we know the trails and what's open. And uh, you know, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more extreme or you want to go out and do a lot of hiking, you know, which is really enjoyable at this time of year, you know, with the temperatures, um, we can set you up for that. Or if you're looking for something that's just a little bit more mellow and just want to drive and see the sights, you know, we can do that. We have a trip that goes out into uh, uh, the island and the sky. It's really popular at this time of the year. So we start off at the Colorado River. Um, we drop and see some petroglyphs along the way. And uh, we drive up about a thousand foot onto this bench um, that's kind of in between the top of the Mesa and the Colorado River down below. And uh, just see the sights on there. In fact, if you've ever been to Dead Horse State Park and looked out at that great big, that, that really famous picture that's right there of the, call, the bend in the Colorado River, we're right in that picture. We're driving right in the middle of that. It's really neat. We go to this backcountry arch called Musselman Arch. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's just like this little land bridge that you see crossing these two canyons. Fantastic scenery out there. It gives mm -hmm. me chills just thinking about it because mm -hmm. you're going to find yourself in these locations that you normally wouldn't be able to get to. We need the mm -hmm. experts to guide us and take us there. But when you're actually in it and you're seeing it with your own eyes, it's just that reminder that we are so small, that there's so much history around us and to see it is just truly special. Oh, absolutely. It's like a trip through Earth's uh, uh, history right yeah. there. You know, you're. You're like spanning, you know, what, a hundred million years as you travel through that, that thousand feet right there. And it's neat to, to be able to be humbled like that when you're driving. Yeah. And the country is, it's so spectacular, but in the wintertime, it's just that a little bit extra, you know, because you do, you feel like you're a little bit more in that wilderness experience out there. Yeah, we yeah. hopped in a Land Cruiser yesterday with one of your guides, Blaine, who was incredible. He's also a historian, so the facts yeah. that he could share, we started off looking at petroglyphs and to hear the interpretation and how he com came to know what they are, what they mean, the stories that they're telling. Okay. It was fascinating to me, and I think a lot of people would like that aspect. Oh, absolutely. The guides that we have, especially during the wintertime, because they're all our local guides. These are the guides that, that don't travel for the, uh, uh, you know, to go to the ski seasons or anything like that. They're all top notch. And uh, we're so lucky to have a staff like that, um, that that's able to provide tours year round. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool. And being year round, again, yeah. is something you can offer at any point, whether it's going on the white water rafting tour, oh, whether yeah. it's hopping in that land cruiser. And also I said, how, how long are the adventures? And uh -huh. he said, whatever you want them to be. Do you want to go out for a couple hours, eight hours? You want to do a few days of a trip? You make it happen. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have an office staff. They're really great. You know, you can call them up and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I'd really like to explore, you know, the maze district of the park. I really want to get out there and we can make that happen. Or, uh, uh, you know, you can say, I'd like to go join a tour down the Colorado River during these months and you know we'll take you all the way down through Cataract Canyon and you know really put a smile on your face. It's the coolest and you come away changed from seeing the sights and the magnitude of what Utah is, the land that we're on right here. It's just so stunning. Where do we go to book a tour and learn more? Ah, you can go to navtech.com um, or you can give us a call at 435 259-7983. One of our staff would be happy, happy to help you out. Oh, and the staff is just wonderful, Brian. Thank you so much. I can't wait for our next adventure. I know. Let's do that Colorado River. <laughs> Done. We're doing it. Thank you to Brian and now Tech for this sponsored interview. Nish, would you do the Colorado River tour with me? I would. Think about that.